So let me go to the supply side of the energy problem. Now we have lots of fossil fuel. That's really both good and bad news. We won't run out of energy, but we, there's enough uh, carbon in the ground to really cook us. Um, coal is, is my worst nightmare. Um, carbon emission in the next three years uh, is predicted in, in the current forecast to, we'll be adding three times the amount of carbon dioxide in the previous history of all humanity if we continue on our present course. And there is abundant fossil fuel energy in, in these various forms. Um, it's hard to really say, for example, in coal, it's so plentiful, there's no serious exploration for it. <clears throat> and coal is the default option in the US, China, and India. And why is that? It's also the default option of Russia. It's because two thirds of the coal supply is in these countries. Now, um, well, so what's going on? Well, China is now embarked on a program to be building one about a half a gigawatt to a gigawatt coal plant a week. Um, United States, it's hard to say what the United States is doing, but um, if, if you believe the numbers in the New York Times and other papers, there are about 140, 150 applications for coal plants that have been applied for in the United States today, uh, new coal plants. And let's assume that um, you don't apply for a coal plant to build a new coal plant unless you intend to build it in the next three years. So the United States is on a path that's also roughly one a week. It could be a little bit less. It could be one every 10 days because not all those plants would be built. Um, so we're also on this path. And that is the default option. And it's also the default option of India. Russia wants to go to coal because it uses its natural gas and oil as hard currency to uh, keep its economy um, or to restore its economy, really. So, so this is what we're seeing today. This is the default option that we are currently doing. It's not that we're going to head for this. We are doing it. Um, there is a possibility that we could take the coal, gasify it, take, turn that gasification into a stream of hydrogen and CO2, pump the CO2 at very high pressures deep underground into this layer of, uh, it's, this is an underground salt water table. And so the idea is many thousands of uh, times uh, the atmospheric pressure, CO2 will be pumped down here. It displaces, initially displaces the uh, salt water, but eventually the, salt wa the carbon dioxide dissolves in the salt water. And finally, it diffuses to where you form little droplets of salty, impregnated carbon dioxide water around little grains. And at that point, it's very, very secure, it's believed to be, because little microcapillary uh, action will prevent it from being released. So, but there is a possibility, and this is of some concern, uh, that in its initial state as a big bubble of gas, it might find its way to the surface, or in its... Um, state as a, as a CO2 impregnated salt water, it's more acid and they could also form some cracks. So the issue here is, and actually not the cost of, of converting the coal to a stream of hydrogen and CO2 and pumping underground. That would probably increase uh, the uh, power bill by as much as 25%. That's what a carbon price of $34 or $4 a ton would be equivalent to. But there's an unknown cost in that if if this is, has, faces legal challenges, uh, why would there be a legal challenge? Because there would be people who say, I don't want this done in my backyard because if the carbon dioxide ever does bubble to the surface, it could actually kill people. 10% carbon dioxide is lethal. And so that's, that's one of the issues. Um, we are doing research in this sequestration, both at the lab and worldwide, but at a very small level, the equivalent of a few million tons of carbon per year and we have to go to several billion tons of carbon per year before it becomes a 10% effect. So it's a, it's, a, it's a sort of a research development issue. So I, I think we have to do this if, if we're gonna go forward with coal, but, but it, it's not a guarantee that we have a solution with coal.